Hey guys, so Huntington Place, as I remember, is a very, very beautiful subdivision. It has all very high-end homes. Um, we're, I don't know, less than a mile to Sandy Beach, or less, half mile. I mean, it's not far at all. Um, I passed the turnoff just come into this neighborhood from there. Maybe even a quarter mile. I really didn't get into it. I didn't put two and two together. I just come over. Anyway, um, this house is beautiful on this side. It has two street sides to it. So this side, I'm going to turn around, and the other side. And um, just show you some of the homes here. So, you can, well, this is this, this front of this home. It's very similar on the other side. And then the home across the street. There's only three, well, there's really only two homes on this cul-de-sac. If you counted that one, it would be three. Well, one, two, which this, again, these two also have street parking on the other side. Three, and that one's really, I guess it is four. And that one has two different corner driveways to it. So, I don't know, four or five houses. Very, very private. Paved coming through here. They got some new mulch to clean that up, make it look nice. So, very nice home. Um, looks like a new roof. Agriculture shingles. I mean, architectural shingles. shingles one and a half car garage. And the HVAC units, there's three of them. They look older. It looks like a red brand, which is still around. Um, they're probably original, but let the home inspector take care of that. We've got a nice vertical siding on this which gives it a higher end look versus going vert, uh, horizontal. Nice um, two double doors with the satellite windows on the side, all stained or fogged. Walk into a stairway, spiral up or spiral down, vice versa. So you have a living area here, go down to bedrooms, up to bedrooms. So you don't have to go up 50 light flights of stairs. You can, they split them up, I like that. I'm already noticing solid wood doors. So that's gonna be a great part about the whole property. Um, so there we are there. Let me cut my airplane mode off so that no one calls me and interrupts the, air, the uh, video. Okay. Okay, there we go. So, coming on in. This is the main floor here. Main floor living room. Pretty cool. Yeah, Braylon all there around. I would probably... I don't know, maybe find me a way to do steps off of here. Although you just go around the corner. Beautiful mirror, great spot for a TV if you're into that. That is a gas fireplace, oak mantel place. This kind of oak, like in cabinet trees, sands and paints very, very, very well. You've got, by, those look like Anderson wood windows, or Pella, one of the two. Um, I'll find that on something else. But they look like Anderson or, or Pella wooden windows. You don't. Get rid of those you, if you want to change them you sand them and paint them so they've got their tv over there that's kind of fun little spot to put decorations or tv um, no popcorn that's a knockdown on the ceiling for for the sheetrock it's nice oak railing it's carpet of course keeps the noise down but this is so hard it feels like i'm walking on like a slab but it's not but the carpet's in excellent shape it does not smell like it was freshly cleaned or nothing and it doesn't smell dirty, it's just in good, good shape. A large dressing room, very nice large dressing room. One of your return airs there, so good circulation here, that's good. The house has no bad smells, it's not musky, it's not dirty, it's not anything. Solid wood pocket door here, I like pocket doors. This is going into an office space off the bedroom, very nice. And then we're gonna come through here to a, um, I showed this house, I think, before. I did show this house before. That's your indoor pool. I think it was eight years ago, and I, I could be wrong, but it feels so original, so so familiar. This is really neat, because that's your indoor pool. I, I smell it, it smells good, it smells clean. Got a cover, it's good for safety. Um, got a diving board, we'll go down there in a minute. But look at all these lights. So you can have entertainment going up here, people watching down below, keep the little ones, I, I don't know. But this also got a kitchen bar area here. It's got windows all across. Now these are vinyl. No, those are metal windows, for, but that's fine. Let this enjoyment come in and out. <clears throat> Octagon shaped window overlooking the deck down below. And that's the other street side. We'll get back to that. So very cool here. Refrigerator's not on, but it's not stinky or nothing. Good, good, good. So sink, you can definitely do something there. That's neat. I wonder if originally, this area up here is almost like a spot for a band or something to play, but you don't only really listen to a band while swimming. I don't know. 
that probably does the yeah cover and uncover for your pull very nice but, well you can't look under because it it's in that railing but it smells clean it don't smell like an algae or stinky or nothing like that okay so they they had a lot of fun out here so this is indoor pool obviously 20 foot ceilings but they're also cooking indoors so they the backsplash sink uh, vent to go outside more lighting very 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 cool very cool very nice okay and then the lighting lights are oh but it's beautiful at nighttime guys Wow, I wonder if there's in pool lights too that I can't see. Wow, super nice. Uh, doggy door. Yeah, this is an Anderson style lock. You gotta turn and lift at the same time. Actually, it's a, it's a style lock. Let's do this one. There we go. So this is going out front, okay? Back's in good shape. Same side in around front that's around back. Here's your parking. So if someone doesn't know where that little circle drive is, they could park here, walk up, knock on your door. But you, there's not stairs coming in the other way. So if you have someone who can't do stairs coming in the other way, have nice pebble style concrete parking. See, the house is just very, very, very nice. Uh, the landscaping is very minimal, a lot of shrub, uh, hedges or sh shrubs. Very nice. Okay, going back. This is probably the only indoor pool that's that and, and, uh, and massive that I've seen maybe three in five years. And I thought I showed this home before, but I can be convincing, can be confusing it with else. Let me put you down for a second. I got them in order to open them. You turn it all the way to the left, push down, close them, turn all the way right, lift up. All right, we'll come back around to that. It's a really nice feature. This this pole was probably even back then. Geez, fifty thousand to put in back then. Who knows today? Got another nice double door area. They did a lot of entertainment here. I'm pretty positive. I was looking out here. We've got another deck, a nice fenced in area. Um, that's your pool pump, all insulated. Is that even a heater? That pool is heated. Yep, that, that's a heater for the pool. So it's indoor heated pool, and I apologize, I have not read the listing on those details yet. But a small indoor pool, I mean, sorry, small indoor fencing area, but it's perfect. Sprinklers. Okay, coming out of the garage. Wonderful. Again, the roof looks great all over. Yep. Come back to the garage later. I don't see anything wrong with this house so far. See the office area for the pool. Can I get to it? Oh, okay. So you can come out of the bedroom into here. Pretty neat. We'll do that in a minute. Man. Yeah, I think 525 is probably on the low end of what this house should be priced for. It's a ma it's massive. Um, it's got everything. I mean, offices, huge walk-in dressing rooms, you know, huge pool, all these beautiful built-in shelvings for your uh, master bedroom, solid oak, which actually that's not built in, that's just standing, but they didn't want to move it, I'm sure. All right, access to the attic. Well, this attic piece, and it's all buttoned up real nice just for storage. That's all that's in here is just duct work here. Smart move on their half. Great storage. They got extra tiles for the master bath right there. Four tiles. Good. Two beautiful skylights. 
I saw those up on the roof. I don't see any water deterioration around them or nothing in the sheetrock, no discolored. Big two person, one person uh, jacuzzi soaking tub. Another beautiful big mirror. It's wrapped in oak and all the oak wraps matches. His and hers. Now that would be super quick to update. You could either swap out sink and faucet, swap out that brassy gold, put it with a today's type gold, have that spray painted white or gray, whatever color you like. Blue. Oh wow, look at all these built-in shelves in here. They spent a ton of money on custom cabinetry. All being that solid oak. And it wouldn't take much here either to update the shower, new shower door. That tile is timeless. It's just a white square tile with blue lining. Wouldn't take much at all, guys. And I don't see anything wrong with that either. No cracks, no mold, no nothing. Nice man-made rock here. Wow, this house offers a lot. Yeah, I, I mean, that, this would be an amazing retirement home. Um, hire a pool company just to keep your pool going so that it's always ready when you come home or to town. Oh, don't tell me they got a terrace. So we built this above our current house. This is the second time other than my own that I've ever seen this before. Look at that. So if you wanted to come out here and enjoy, that's probably to the attic. I bet it's unlocked. I mean locked. I'm pretty oh, it's good. It's unlocked. I'll close it back. Yep, to the attic. Just a little nook. I guess outdoor tools. Wild. I'll close it for them. But this is super neat. You can come up here and, you know, watch the stars. I don't know. See the eclipse. I do see an iron rod fence over there. So if you want to put fencing up, the neighbors have it. You'd think you could too. Gosh. Our terrace is about 40 by 40. This is a, not as large, but it definitely does the trick. Super nice. Super nice. This is the same fiber material like they put on top of a Walmart or anything else with a flat roof. <laughs> wow. Second time I've seen that outside of my own. Okay, so you come up six steps to the master clock, master bedroom, huge dressing room, office, steps down, a foyer. I'm say it's a foyer, it's a loft. Overlook of the pool. Of course, master bathroom, storage, solid oak windows galore i haven't turned on but one light or two lights since i've been here so you can see how much lighting this place has and then we go back down one and these are nice wide and short steps so you can't even notice they're like four or five inches tall that's very nice so we got one two three four five six steps so back to the master i'm sorry the main living room master one two three and then look they've got this main made stone here too Oh, it's really nice how they wrap that through the house. So I came down through to a nice little dining area. All right. I do see a little mark in the ceiling. That was probably before they put on the new roof because that roof is new. So we just have the home inspector test that for water, for moisture. Okay. One, two, three steps down to the kitchen. Oh, great. We got a gas range, countertop range. This... The appliances are old, but that's nothing to swap out. And again, super nice oak cabinetry, solid, solid as can be. We have the pullouts with it. Smart. They made space of these. I like that. A lot of times that's wasted space. They had little handhelds there to pull them open because they didn't put any knobs on them. So tons and tons of space. That's so simple for someone to knock the shine off and paint these whatever color you want. Put on some new hardware if you like, and this thing looks like a new kitchen. I'd have them do all the trim and everything at the same time. It's got to be sprayed to make it look professional. A one-step step down to a nice little breakfast nook. They don't have any, but I might even put some under-counter bar stools behind here. You know, people are sitting there enjoying it. They're going out the patio doors, out to the pool. Here's your living room area. So I'm not going to go back through this door. We've already seen it. But again, this is right up to the pool. So cook, bring it in. Cook, bring it out. Very nice custom home. Wired for speakers. I've saw those in other places. Step back up to the kitchen. Dining. Three steps up to the living room. Let's come through this hallway where we took three steps down earlier. we got three more. And now we're here at a big half, half bath. 
Again, same cabinets, same doors. A good painter can make this thing look updated in a week's time, repainting all this wood. Goodness gracious. Because this is timeless texture on the sheetrock. Repaint that mirror. You're only replacing this light fixture, that, maybe the sink, and the faucet. That's it. And there's really room if you, I don't know if you could relocate, but you could put a shower, corner shower in, but who needs it? Another mirror for space, makes it look bigger. Now we gotta turn the light on, cause this is into the laundry room. Here we've got some more storage. Storage, 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 you guys. Okay, good. We've got two hot water heaters. Those are, that's a 40 and a 50 unit, um, 50 uh, gallon. So for this big house, that's perfect. We've got one washing machine and two dryers. Wow. More cabinetry, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then we got some steps going. Let's just see where they go. Okay. Now we're in the garage. This is the garage we saw out where I was parked at. Never been painted. It's got the chipwood siding. Here's the other door that said go into the garage from backyard. This could easily be painted whatever color you wanted, if you wanted to. And that would update this very quickly. Nice. Big 200 amp breaker with more room if you wanted to grow. That's old telephone stuff we don't use anymore. Super duper. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yep. Wow. I'm 16 minutes in, I don't even have to move the house. This is the longest video I've ever done, I think. I usually make keep them under nine. Official bedroom number one. Looks like a 12 by 12. Has a double door, solid wooden double door bifolds, and it's got built-ins, which you rarely see in the small closet like that. It's usually just a pole. A finer home like this, you would see it. Here you've got a full bath, good. Is this a tub shower combo? Tub shower combo, again, got this shiny brassy gold you could swap out. Big toilet, that's fine. And this is big enough, if easily you could put two sinks in if someone wanted to. Maybe above the countertop style. Short hallway, we come on back down here to bedroom two and three. It's bedroom two, again, it's like a 12 by 10 or 12 by 12 again. Got the same built-ins, very nice. Solid wood doors everywhere, a mirror. All right, here we are again, and I think this is a 10 by 10 bedroom. It's the smaller of the three. And it's going back out to the pool, the door we saw earlier. And it also has its own. And that you know the pool room can also use this, so that's great. It's got its own potty and walk-in shower. But again, it's just fixtures to update this thing. The stairwell is a little bit weird, but you know you got to have one somewhere. And that goes back up to the loft and down to this pool. So down to the pool. And again, these are you know those aren't metal. Yeah, they're metal. They're metal. Of course, that they were. Vinyl, but again, this wood is solid wood. Very easy to, sh to knock the shine off and have them spray. I'm sorry, yeah, they're sprayed by a painter, but with a pump sprayer. We've been there, we've been there, so now we're going to go. We're going to go upstairs. So with the three bedrooms down on the model level, another living room, two dining areas, one's a breakfast, and then the main floor you've got the main living room. We're going up the first flight of stairs to the main, to the master. Okay, so four bedroom, and then outside to the terrace. I'm gonna walk it again to make sure I didn't miss nothing. So here we've got the main living room. Half bath. To me, this is the main dining. There's plenty of room to turn that sideways and expand that to a bigger one. Coming down where all this cabinetry is in the kitchen. Okay, tons of windows. Gosh, tons of windows. Um, natural lighting, good lord. Back out to the swimming area. Master living room. I'm sorry, second living room. That's probably the. That's probably the. I don't know. I don't know if that's the main one or the other one is the main one. Now that I think about it. Here we're coming into the laundry room and then upstairs to the garage. Bedroom one, bedroom two, bedroom three. Full bathroom, bedroom two also had the full bath 
that was connected to the pull room. And then we're going right back. Let me put my card down. I have to do that. And then we go right back up the six flights of stairs to the master bedroom, big dressing room, big bathroom, and access to the pool loft, and then back up the stairs to the terrace. So that's all we have to offer here at 940 Huntington Place, four bedroom, one, two, three, and a half bath. Huge indoor swimming pool that is heated. Fenced in backyard. I'm gonna give you a little look at what this neighborhood's like as I drive away. This thing is impressive for 525. Hundred dollars a square foot. That's gonna kill the sales in this neighborhood, but it is one I would jump on if I was looking to relocate to this area. Hopefully nobody calls me because I'm turning on my